Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53, the last round of 64, not the last BB2 CCL, but um, the last round of 64, it's going to cut down to 32, and we've got Toast Guy with Kislev versus Balint with Undead, and Balint is also down a bunch of TV, he's got a bribe, and Setek. Setek's an interesting one. I would take Setek over a wizard sometimes. So it's interesting. I might have sacked a zombie and got a wizard rather than a bribe, but then I don't really like bribes. Um, other people do. And you know, generally, like it's interesting because I, oh wow, we've got the we've got the many KO bug. Dimmy says that means there's going to be loads of cars. It's interesting because if you feel like you're miles behind, and you've got a DP going for a bribe, can you know you can try and get super duper lucky. Uh, but with a wizard, this is a good example of a mistake bad players make. <laughs> Not to call Balint bad. But there's kind of no reason to have these two right in front, right? They could be out here, and they're doing the same thing. But they're giving you freedom to pick the ball up and then move in. And also, if you fail to pick up here, it could scatter onto him and then onto there or whatever and get into a worse position. Whereas if you've got them up here, um, it could only go, you know, in between. Fouling people out can be all you need. Yes, that's what I mean. So if you feel like you're miles behind, Fouling people out can be the way you win the game, but it's got to be really desperate for me to consider to myself to be that far behind. But of course, I may assess my chances differently than if I wasn't me. <laughs> and then also, the other people might assess their chances differently than I would if I was them as well, right? And then there's also people can be better at assessing the chances than other people. So there's there's a lot of factors goes in to like how far behind you think you are and what do you have to do to win any given game. It's super interesting as Kaylin would say. Yeah, there were some really crazy things last night. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Not sure about this. I think if you go forward... I guess you could just keep these behind. I think if you're going forward, you want to go into this, right? Going to big, massive players in the middle here. I don't, I don't like going to the sideline here. So what have we got? We've got to move up. Bloodstep, shoe hands, pretty nice player. Rackle at a block tackler, so pretty nice ghouls there. Strength up tackler, pretty nice. Guarder, block guard, stand firm, perfect mummy. Guard, so pretty decent players, just not that many, and like not too good. Decent though. And the Kislev, with a lot more TV, right, because this is Sledek. Movement up, watch step, edge up, edge five, uh, pretty good. Got a blitzer, another blitzer. Yeah, see, so, so this now he's got these four, they're all in a little square, and now he's got to try and get them back together somehow. No, okay, he can do it by smashing the, the, the crocs into an extra hit, so. It was a pretty nice way to get them. There was, you know, maybe uh, it wasn't the best team split, or maybe maybe it could have been done better. Maybe it wasn't a great idea. But I would have wanted, and I don't want to be on the sideline either. Well, so there's two ways of looking at it, right? On this, if you're on the sideline, at least. If they come for the ball and fail, you're on the sideline, so like you can surf them and stuff. 
but oh, wow. <laughs> that was uh That was anticlimactic, wasn't it? He did a two plus leap, a three plus leap, and another three plus leap. But you know it could have worked. The thing is no, I guess the edge five pick leaps in and picks it up and gets it away. So yeah, that was I mean it was pretty he was pretty close to losing there. He was actually pretty close to losing. It's kind of maybe stupid as that looked. He was actually pretty close to losing. And instead he gets the Kaz. Doesn't apple it, because it was just a normal miss next. The absolute like worst Kaz to get, because you don't want to apple it. And uh, so it's almost guaranteed, right? At least if you get a death, you'll definitely apple it. And if you get a badly hurt, the apple will definitely work. But getting on my eye is pretty sucky. Well, oh, there's another guard here, so I can leap in this guard and have a 1D. No, oh, there's a guard here. I guess he has to cancel Setek. Hmm. I wonder if there was a thing to do with just take the jump up block and then um, and then could have blitzed as well, right? That was maybe an idea. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a bit light, isn't it? There's some good things about this his love team, but they really need wrestle and strip, yeah. Like wrestle wrestle linos are like the bread and butter, right? Because then with one skill you've got like basically a better sacking threat than a war dancer. For seventy T V, which is pretty ridiculous. Well, eighty T V technically. I don't know why I said seventy. Eighty T I know it's eighty T V. I just said 70. Hello, Steve. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, the 1D gets the pow. Into a V break. It's still just some threes to sack the ball. <laughs> Literally can't stop rolling threes to, uh, to try and sack the ball, but he's not going to try it. Yeah, yeah, the block on the frogs is a bit shit, right? But you can understand it on the blitzers. Wanting a lodge guard and stuff. I guess that's kind of like the bad thing about blitzers. Is you've kind of got to go wrestle on them, or you need a lot of wrestle on your linos. But even the catch is going to go and wrestle. Especially in Blood Bowl 3, where it would be the perfect defensive skill. <laughs> wow. I don't really like that blitz. There's an edge 5 catcher here, and you want to move your cage forward. <laughs> so I vastly preferred blitzing the edge 5 catcher. But hey. He does pendo, he does hello, long time no see. I wonder if uh, he thinks the only way he can lose now is by the Crocs Court killing people. Which is, um, you know, it's it's something to think about. I'm not sure I'd be that confident. But if you are that confident, then it's the right thing to just take away his high roll. This high roll Kaz machine. But I think I'd be much more concerned about, you know, slam doing slam things. <laughs> that seems a pretty pretty likely well not that likely, but it's it's more devastating if they do some bullshit than than you know, maybe he's taking a couple of cars that you've got region for anyway. And you can always just stick a zombie on him like he's got a zombie stuck in him anyway, right? 
So just stick a zombie on him and uh, concentrate. Oh, you've got you've got two spare zombies, three spare zombies. So just stick a zombie on him and uh, deal with the Kislev. So we're kind of like kind of running out of time a little bit to get forward. It's just dodgy against Kizla, isn't it? Like everything's just in line versus Kizla. Hello, Ducky. Yeah, exactly. Like you're going hunting AV7. Like it, it was. It's like really good player to knock over. Defenseless agility five leap. <laughs> you know that's a that's a hell of a player to hit. Yes, Dirty Raxo, they, they are. Um, Corfoon uses them in tabletop a fair amount. And yes, saving all your rerolls for one stupid turn is just makes them, you know, you can't defend against them at all. You can already barely defend against them in Blood Bowl too. But um, in tabletop, you know, naff events allow them, even though they shouldn't, because they're not a real team, but hey. Hmm. This seems very lame. Yeah, but I mean... I still didn't like it, but fair enough, Ducky. <laughs> fair enough. I just I think it was better to have um, to have gone for with everybody that time. Like you can always just dodge off the uh, the guard, can't you? Can he 3D him? Look at this actual pro gamer move. Lovely. And hits from there so that. I don't know, it doesn't matter because if it's a bolt down, you don't want to cut the corner anyway because it's got diamond tackle. So it didn't matter. Could have just hit from here. But lovely. Uh, lovely getting the 3D. Too many times we don't see the three Ds. So yeah, pretty easy drive for Balling. And a bit crap for Torsca. How many places has he got? Ten. He had two reserves. There's a good chance he gets 11 for the second half, but that's a really, really nice player to be down. Isn't it? I mean, it may just be that he wanted to punch the big thing as well. Ducky. You never know. <laughs> You never know how people are thinking. <laughs> yeah, better it is parents and now he wants revenge. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, yeah, getting the guard out fair enough. It is fair enough. Like it goes so fast, doesn't it? You can't, uh, you can't see everything, you think of everything. So you know, maybe I am unfair to people, a large percentage of the time, but it is what it is. Three D makes the difference. Gets the, gets the power. I mean, he could not get three D. <laughs> he actually couldn't. Oh no, he could because he could, didn't have to cancel the assist there. So.
diced. That's pretty, pretty sad getting, uh, getting caught. Is the bribe already gone? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? The uh, yesterday the bribing was incredible, and then today it's terrible. Almost like you know, fouling is massively dicey. Oof. It's it, fouling is really interesting because it's like. You know, what's it called? Underworld in the new rules. Blood Bowl 3 as it would be. They're like super dicey, but all like, and Skaven are quite dicey, right? But because the dice are always in their favour. May the dice be ever in your favour. What, what's that? What's that from? Um, so, then the, the, they're a bit less dicey, aren't they? Like, it's interesting because you can kind of, like, you know, like Underworld, they've got all the, what, they've got bribery and corruption, they've got bribes, they've got 16 players. Oh, is it Hunger Games? Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm sad. I'm sad that I knew a thing from Hunger Games. <laughs> oh, oh. Much, much more disappointing than it being some, any, literally anything else. <laughs> Yeah. These three blitzes are all pretty decent, aren't they? Block guard. And then a block mighty tackle, but yeah, needed wrestle. Wrestle uh, things. <laughs> do you know do you know what, Twiver? That's what Silver Linings playbook's for. <laughs> Hunker games. Ooh, or uh, or X Men. <laughs> but uh, Hunger Games, I thought was just shit. <laughs> there you go. No, this was right. This wasn't the last ten years, so the right doesn't, doesn't matter too much. So if he had a bunch of wrestle, he could like try and bang it in early and get the turnover. But I guess he can't really reliably turn them over, and he's too many dice to roll. Got to be careful for setek with a break tackle and strip ball. I do like blood sports, but I just thought the games was crap. Liked uh, Running Man. Loved a crazy one. It was Death Race 2000. Loved that. The original. Amazing. Balin's plan is just to hang back with Setek and hope that uh, Toast Guy goofs and he gets the great tackle in. It's not a bad 
plan, honestly. Like, you know, if you just stay in front and play safe. Nope, he's just gone straight in the centre. <laughs> Well, we could look at this, look at this here. Ah, oh, this, this is the counter serve. If it wasn't for the counter serve, what could be a good player here? Would good player here would be leap this guy to there. Um, because your ball still protected, right? So you can just start with a leap to here, and then you could put in an assist there. And then you could go for a leap in here. So you'd be five, you'd be three, four, five. One D to push him and then two D to get him out. But you're kind of like leaving the counter surf on. Which, you know, you'd really need like stand firm or sidestep on these uh, these blitzes. They really need another skill, the, the blitzes, unfortunately. They get so much better with one more skill. Well, one more skill is dodge anyway, isn't it? So two more skills. They get amazing on four skills. But the the thing is the first the first one wouldn't matter, right? The first one wouldn't matter. So you can just you can just you can just bail on it if the first one would be. The payout's pretty good, isn't it? Strength four. Strength four tackle at the surf. Like I think you're kinda of behind quite far right now, it feels like, despite be having more T V. They're just a bit boring, aren't they, with just what guard is like. They needed they needed oh wow. They needed more skills on the good guys. Or more skills on the bad guys, I think. You know? Like, they needed some wrestle linemen, guard on the crocs, things like that. Or they needed third and fourth skills on the blitzers and the catchers. It's just really, really underpowered, and somehow they were just way over the TV. Yeah, somebody made a team called Unicorn Kislev, didn't they? I don't know if it was like Dio or Gadernik. And I don't know how, how big they got. But yeah, Rix was pretty... Rix was pretty big, wasn't it? Way. Rousey to and, uh, There you go, driver. That shows how intelligent I am. <laughs> it's a great measurement of how big your brain is. <laughs> I've played zero games as Underworld, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, yeah, the Christmas, the Christmas man outfits. Oh, there's a nice little chain in for 3D on the ball. Totally missed that, but lovely. <laughs> I had no idea what's happened the last two turns. Um, that seems terrible to allow somebody to chain a, uh, a mummy onto the ball and 3D in, but there you go. It happens. Well, that had to be terrible play from Torskai, as well as good play from Balin, right, to spot it. You have to be good enough to spot it, but also you have to definitely not leave those chances. If you want to call yourself good. Oof, that was an unlucky one in nine. That would have covered things quite alright. I mean, not well, but quite alright. I think that dodge that dodge helped things quite a lot, honestly. Again, not perfect, but probably good enough. But now, I was a catcher home. Oh, oh man. Diced. 
That's really unlucky, isn't it? That's really unlucky, because, yeah, that dodge was really, really good. Cool. It's got a player here. It's not easy, is it? You can see there, it's not easy if he's got a player there. So, yeah, pr pretty unlucky there from Toast Guy. But you can argue bad play the turn before, or just great play from Valin. Again, I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. We can't go backwards on a replay. <laughs> Literally can't, because this is so random, right? Like, if you could go back turns, I'd go back to the turn and see what it was and stuff. But the fact that the fact that it just goes backwards and forwards random amounts of time or something. Yeah, we can presume it was a nice chain. I mean, pres it's pre presumably a nice chain. You've still got to spot them, like, even if... Even if your opponent leaves it on, you still got to be you still got to spot it, haven't you? No. No. <laughs> yes, the the completely non-existent system in Blood Bowl three, and that is almost GG there. One nil down, two turns left. Ball is going seven squares this way. <laughs> Instant. No, it's not. Okay, well it should have gone seven squares this way. Instantly, I, I mean, I guess I'm okay. It's in a, it's in a cage, but I much prefer just getting away, right? Just get away. Foul the jump up guy, well, one of the two jump up guys, and uh, cover these guys or whatever. And like have a screen. I much prefer that to, uh, to caging. Just makes them so much harder. Like even if they get the hits on, they've got to. Uh, They've got to do things, haven't they? Probably worth uh, dodging the goon out first. Oh, Kaz, lovely. It's a pretty good foul. This goon should have dodged it here. I don't know if it just stood up already. I don't think it has. Maybe it ran out of time. This, this goon up here is great, isn't it? Because then... These guys have got a leap to do anything and stuff. There we go, we get the leap. A second leap. Works. 2D on the ball. Gets the pow. And that's why I don't think the cage added that much. <laughs> I would have rather just got him further away to just make, you know... Getting the assists and the recovery that much harder, just physically getting there, would be difficult. There you go, driver. Oh, the driver, the stats man. safe move with this guy. I get he's probably going to foul. Oof. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so he gets blocked. Three wins in a draw, Mordred. the best line I'll get a strength upon. Yeah, maybe. I guess you could maybe argue Amazon, particularly in the context of the team. Also, Beastman. Beastman are basically positionals, aren't they? And they also have 
beastmen also have like warriors, right? So they've already got a strong team, but like it's, it probably is the Longbeard, just because the Longbeard is like a complete player with one skill, right? So they don't get that much more value from subsequent skills. Whereas like an all normals legend beastman is still a brilliant player, like they don't need the strength. So I'd be inclined to say Longbeard. There you go, random random question answer there in the, in the, to wrap up the match. The, the final round of 64 match in CCL history. Um, commiserations to Toast Guy, congratulations to Ballant, and thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.